Hello again. I'm here today with Heather Rinaldi of the Texas Worm Ranch. Heather, what's your green tip today? Our green tip of the week is start a worm bin, stop throwing your food waste away, uh, give it to the worms and convert your waste into garden fertility. So how does one get started with this process? Well, they use red wiggler worms, which are a special worm uh, that composts and eats lots of organic waste. And you would set up a bin or buy it from the worm ranch. And we set it up with organic compost and newspaper and have it all set up and add about half a pound of worms to this. Mm -hmm. Not the worms that you find in your soil. Okay. They're a different variety of worm. And, the wor and then about every three or four days, you would add some fruit and vegetable waste, mm -hmm. about a handful. Okay. The worms will eat that. And you would continue doing that for about eight to 12 weeks. And then you would be able to separate the worms from their castings and use that in your container pots or your vegetable garden or e flower bed. Excellent. What comprises of the castings? So what is the worm casting? Okay, so worm castings it, are all the material that the worms have eaten mm -hmm. and it's gone through their digestive tract and now it's their waste. Um, so they are going to eat fruit and vegetable waste and release plant hormones okay. and acids and enzymes, things you'll never find in a bag of commercial fertilizer, Definitely. Uh, but are necessary for healthy plants. Uh, nutrients, trace nutrients that uh, will really help your plants be healthy and more importantly beneficial microbes and that would be things like beneficial fungi, bacteria, uh, protozoa and nematodes and those are all good and necessary things to inoculate your living soil with uh, so that your soil will be a healthy ecosystem for your plants. So what you're telling me is that if we have a living soil in place, there's not really a need to buy artificial fertilizers. Right. Uh, so we use worm castings as an amendment to inoculate those microbes. And we will add some uh, rock powders for extra uh, nutrients and also some organic fertilizer for some of those, not some of that, the things like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. However, those microbes are necessary to take it from that form mm -hmm. that you find it in a organic fertilizer and turn it into a plant available fertilizer. Excellent. So it's making it bioavailable for the plant. Absolutely. Is there anything else you can do with the worm castings? Sure. Uh, so you can make a worm casting tea to spray onto your plants. And that worm casting tea is dechlorinated water. Rainwater would be best. Right. Uh, some molasses and a, a, a little bit of molasses to feed those microbes and the castings. And you would either stir that together or even better add oxygen through an aquarium pump. Okay. And pump that for about 18 to 24 hours. And then you can go and put that directly onto the leaves of your plant. So you had mentioned before that you can get these bins from the Texas Worm Ranch. What comes with that bin? Okay, so in a working worm bin, we're going to start with a bottom layer of organic compost. Mm -hmm. And that would be representative of the forest floor. Okay. A real rich organic material for decomposers to live in. Definitely. Like our red wiggler worms. Mm -hmm. And then on top, instead of, using news, instead of using leaves, which would fall each year in the forest, we use the newspaper. And we get this nice and moist. And the worms can actually eat that newspaper and uh, convert that into those worm castings also. So it has holes drilled into it for oxygen, it has moisture, it has food, and then you take it home and are just able to add your food scraps. So whenever you're done eating a banana, you can just throw your banana peel into there? Absolutely. You would wanna pull back the newspaper and set it right on top of that organic compost that's down there, mm -hmm. and then push the newspaper back on top. So how often are you actually harvesting the worm castings? So in a bin this size, we would harvest the castings about every 10 to 12 weeks. So great, how do you harvest them? Well, you pull up all the brown material from the bottom, which mm -hmm. is going to look like this, and you would put that in a pile, uh, probably a larger pile. This is just a representation. Okay. And leave it under light for about 10 to 12 minutes. So you're just turning on a light bulb above it. Yeah. 
or, or just putting it outside or put or it outside if warm? it's not too hot okay if it's not a if hot it's day. not a hot day you can put it outside okay and so the worms don't like light and they burrow down away from the light right and then you're able to scrape away the sides uh -huh. and the top and at the bottom you have a squirm of worms. Wow. So this stuff you can use in your garden and then you start your next uh, worm bin material with the worms. Very cool. Where can people get in touch with you so that they can purchase a worm kit? Okay. A worm kit, is that right? So, yeah. I'm so sorry. this is a working worm bin and you can purchase that through Texas Worm, worm Ranch. And our website is www.txwormranch.com and you can also find Texas Worm Ranch on Facebook. Excellent, so be sure to like them on Facebook <laughs> and connect with them. I'm Jason Winningham. And I'm Heather Rinaldi. And this has been your, your Green, Green Tip, Tip of, of the, the Week. week. Excellent. So it's making it bioavailable Absolutely. for the plants. Absolutely. That is the correct term, yes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to say, you've got worms. <laughs> I can give you worms. Yeah. You can give me worms. <laughs>